Welcome to Retired Time Productions. Hello, everybody. I'm here with uh, Jim today, and he just got this new Wakara Dvention QR X350 Premium Aerial Photography Platform, which is a quadcopter. Now, this was uh, previously known as the Ultimate, and it's been talked about on the Wakara Club, which is some German people. There's uh, many videos out about the Pro version, so I don't want to confuse that with the Pro. This is also similar to the Ultimate, or really is the Ultimate. It's renamed as the Premium. This is my understanding. But there's quite a few videos out about the Pro, and uh, there's nothing out there that I can find except some German videos on the Premium. So what we want to do is look at the new features of the Premium, and take a look inside the hood or under the hood and just see what's involved with this quadcopter. It's a little bit different. This is a new aerial photography platform by Wakara and is offered by Banggood, Gearbest and other vendors. The price tag is around $1200 to $1400 but is probably worth it considering all the features that it has such as first person view with 5.8 gigahertz including an OSD in a very modular design. It has a dual GPS system that uh, supports both the GPS signal from the American satellites and the signals from the Russian satellites, providing redundancy and accuracy in the autopilot. It has 360 auto rotation circle mode, so you can take pictures of something in the center and fly around it. It has follow me mode, it has one key to start auto takeoff, one key to go home. It also has fail safe and returns and lands. It comes with a 3 axis G 3D gimbal that is already set up. The iLook HD camera is mounted on this gimbal and already set up. And this has a wireless video signal that goes right to your transmitter so that you can see what the camera is seeing. It supports waypoint flying, in other words you can do missions. You can monitor flight time and it has a system self-diagnostic. It has pre-armed safety checks on the receiver and the GPS, compass, barometer and battery all can be checked. It also has available for download ground station control system software. Using a mobile phone, a tablet, you can change flight modes and set waypoints while you're flying. This is a ready-to-fly quad that comes with the iLook camera. It's a 13 megapixel camera on a 3-axis gimbal and is controlled by a Wakara Devo F12E transmitter with video screen. Surprisingly, the G3D gimbal was already set up right out of the box, and it maintains level position on all axes. The video signal also works straight out of the box and can be seen on the Devo transmitter after initialization. The quad also came with telemetry that allows the mission control from a tablet, either Android or Apple, with the free ground station control software. The battery that comes with it is an 8 cell LiPo battery and has a 3000 milliamp hour 10C rating. So additional batteries are available at Banggood now for about $123. They weren't available recently but now they are. There are status lights on the battery that come with it. The all-out weight of the quad is 4 pounds 3 ounces. The battery alone weighs 1 pound 7 ounces and the radio with its battery weighs 2 pounds 13 ounces. The motors are made by Wakara and they are a 350 kV rating. The props are about 232 millimeters long or 9 and an eighth inches and they are coated with a black and silver top so you can tell where to put them on the quadcopter. We don't know the pitch of the prop at this time but we presume it's around 5 or 6 on the pitch. The props are threaded counter to the rotation, are easy to install, and have self-locking hubs. 
The modular design makes it very easy to remove the legs with just two thumb screws, one on each side. You can also remove the camera gimbal with just one thumb screw. So this is very easy to remove the modules. The quad has two sets of antennas on each side of the fuselage. We presume that one side is probably for the Wi-Fi data link and uh, if you flip it around it has another set and we probably feel this is for the radio control. But we're not sure at this time. We'll need to do more studying to find out. There is also the circular polarized antenna mounted on the camera for the 5.8 video signal. And on top, of course, is the GPS module which we spoke of. So the Devo F12E radio has already been pre-configured with all the switches and sliders already programmed to do the functions they're supposed to do for this quadcopter. So the switches are clearly labeled and you can see what they do so there's no programming for the user. The radio is already set up so we have gimbal controls on the side and then there's uh, switches also available for the different modes. So the radio is well put together, well configured. The grips are well designed and easy to hold so you can get a good grip on your radio. There's a USB port on the side of the radio and then in the back there is an accessory port or DC out on the top. Also there's a charge port right at the bottom here and then we presume this other port is probably for the trainer cable so you can buddy box the radios. There's also two access places to get to your gimbals to adjust them. Okay looking at the accessories you can actually buy a camera for hundred and fifty dollars and put it in here. It's not a very good camera but if you do you'll remove the gimbal and then you'll need a shorter set of legs that you can replace the longer ones with and put the end caps on the ends. Uh, this gives it a lower center of gravity. This is a Bluetooth adapter that goes on the back of your tablet or your smartphone and communicates with the quad to give it commands for telemetry to run a mission or change parameters. This is the charger that came with it and it charges your eight cell batteries and has a set of indicator lights. There is the adapter for the US power and here is an extra little charger cable that you can use on a more standard charger I presume and there's also a nice strap for your radio that comes with it. There's two extra set of blades that come with the quadcopter and then there's a battery holder for standard batteries that was in it but we have replaced it with a LiPo battery for better performance and we probably won't be using this battery adapter. Okay, there's a, a set of Allen wrenches that came with it and also a little screwdriver that can be used to adjust the camera gimbal pitch and roll. And then there is a trainer port cable for training like buddy boxing. And then there's a little cable that we're not sure what it does. It's a little accessory cable. And then there's a main control board uh, USB cable and a transmitter upgrading USB cable. So this was a preliminary video. We just went over what we know so far. We have a lot of questions. Probably just as many questions as you have since uh, there's very little out there on the internet about it and uh, very little help. We have trouble getting help about what's really going on. So as we learn more about it, we will post a second video and we hope to go through how to calibrate it set it up, fly it, and so forth, and any things that we run into. So thanks for watching, and leave some comments if you're interested in this particular model, and we'll get back to it with another video. Thanks for watching. Here,